Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina and today we're going to be doing a, a wine bottle little bag so you can use it for your for your uh, gifts, for Christmas, any occasion. We always seem to always be give something and sometimes wine is a very common thing to give. So the one that I've made as you see here, I'm going to lay it down so you can see better. So I made it that it looks like it has a little hat over the bottle. And you know, uh, for those that love wine, I sure do. I do like some wine sometimes here and there. Um, and I do give wine a lot sometimes for Christmas or different occasions to friends and family. So I, f I decided that I would teach you guys to do this little wine bottle uh, bag um, that I think everybody will like to, to have. And of course I put like on this one here, there's a pocket here. If you see this one, I add the pocket and the pocket that I used, um, it says um, girls, girls love to wine. And um, this was a panel that I actually got from, uh, from Northcott. And um, they have little squares that you can cut the little squares and, uh, and use for, for little pockets or even make a table runner or something. Also, I thought would be a good idea those these little coasters. You can put them in the pockets, or you can even put a card saying thank you. Um, and the coasters is those ones that fit uh, the glass, so people can have it in the bottom of your glass. So we're gonna get get started. So this one, if you see here, like this one, I only had uh, the pocket in the front, and this one, as you see, has a pocket goes all the way around. And I'm gonna show you how you do it. Uh, so now I'm going to put all the stuff here to the side so I don't break the wine. Don't want to break it because they are full. The bottles are full. And even this one, as you see, I did, did it with a different fabric. Again, there's the little hat that goes over the bottle. Okay, so I'm going to put my coasters here to the side. and the wine glass. I'm also going to put these here to the side and we're going to get started. So the materials that you're going to be needing uh, it doesn't take a lot of materials so if you have fat quarters you can definitely use fat quarters because the the materials is what I cut here is 15 this way let's see I actually picked some Christmas fabrics okay so there's 15 this way and 18 this way. If you're going to use a bigger bottle, as you see, this is just a small bottle. Okay, you'll have to change your measurements. So you'll have to measure the bottle and make it a little bit bigger. You know, this is just to accommodate this bottle. As you see, that just fits this bottle. All right. So we're going to be needing, um, so two pieces, one for the outside, one for the inside piece of fusible fleecy and they all the same size they are the ones that I'm using here is 15 by 18 so the 18 is the height it goes this way so if you're using something that's directional make sure it goes this way all right um, for the strap I cut a piece here I have here uh, it's again 15 by I would say two inches all right, so and you're gonna need two pieces. What I did, because I'm gonna be putting this one, I'm gonna make as more of as a Christmas. So I cut a little bit of my uh, border, border fabric from this line that says, wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, decided to put that on the handle, I think will look kind of cute. And you're also gonna need a, a piece of fusible fleece for that also. So for the pocket, okay, let me get my piece. I don't think I have it here, hold on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. So for my pocket, I'm using a border fabric and I believe this line that I'm using here is uh, called Best 3 of the Lot by Northcott. It's from Northcott and um, they have really fun with little cars and trees and it's kind of a cute thing for Christmas. So uh, again, the pocket, we're going to need two pieces, 15, but here I don't really have... I have this here 15 by 6 for my pocket but I literally what I did I just cut a piece of the border and because I didn't want to like destroy the design so I just went to with one of the strips of the border 
So it, it could end up slightly bigger depending what border you're using. On this one, it worked to six, but you can do probably slightly bigger. I think this one here that I have here, it's probably slightly bigger because I just cut some parts of it. Let's see what I had here. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this one was slightly smaller actually. This was about five and a half. So they're gonna end up differently. Just don't do it any bigger than six because then it's gonna end up here in your uh, corner on the bottom, all right? Six the most, you can go smaller, but don't do bigger, all right? And for, again, for the, the whole bag, we're gonna need one for the front, one for the lining, and one piece of fusible fleece. And again, the size is 15 by 18. Our first step, we're gonna have, I'm gonna put my border and my strap here to the side. And we're gonna start with the pieces that we need to cut. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I'll, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna fold these together neatly. If you're not comfortable with using both pieces together, you can definitely um, do one at a time. But I'm just gonna do mine in one piece. So I'm gonna make sure they're evenly together and I'm gonna fold them in half. All right? So probably gonna put probably is easier. I'm gonna put it already right sides together. Because sometimes the fabrics are directional, so you don't wanna mess it up because you're gonna be sewing it that way. So you're going to go here, right sides together, and you're going to fold it in half that way. And you're going to put that in your mat, or if you don't have a cutting mat, I'm sure you probably do have a cutting mat, you're going to cut 9 inches down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you're going to mark here. Or you can use your ruler. You can get a pencil and a ruler and you can go here and mark your nine so on the folded part as you see it's the folded part that I'm marking okay just make sure it's there otherwise you can end up cutting it backwards and I've done that unfortunately sometimes you're making things and you go in a hurry and you make a mistake okay so on your fold you're gonna mark nine inches right then you're going to put your ruler from the 9 inch to the tip and make sure they are evenly. And you're going to go here. And I'm actually going to trim that off. Okay. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to take that off. And when you open it, you're going to end up with something like that. All right. See that? You're going to end up with something like that. And you're going to do the same thing to your fusible fleece. You're going to cut it. You're going to fold it. Put this to the side. And you're going to put that to the side. So now your next step, you're going to choose which fabric is going to be your front or which fabric is going to be your back, right? And in my case, I think I'm going to do the blue to my front. So I'm going to fuse my fusible fleece to my blue. So I'm going to take this to the iron and I'm going to fuse these two together. All right. I'm also, while I'm there, I'm going to fuse my fusible fleece to my strap already here. After you're done fusing this, okay, so after you fuse that up, you're going to put right sides together 
and you're gonna sew a quarter of an inch all the way around and leave one side open to flip it inside out so sewing a quarter of an inch all the way around and leave an opening in one side to flip it inside out okay um, then we're gonna do also the pocket so we're gonna put right sides with right sides and I pick blue for my pocket and again just to refresh your measurements mine is about 6 by uh, 15 it's the whole length it's gonna go all the way around but you could just do a pocket here in the middle like I did on this one this one doesn't go all the way around you see only has it in the front and if you don't want to add a pocket you don't even have to you can just leave it like this so it's really it's optional you're gonna sew the top and the bottom no sides okay because we also gonna have to have this sewed in otherwise you're gonna end up with a rough edge here in the bottom right and you don't want a rough edge there so you're gonna sew top here bottom here flip them inside out and iron in then we'll attach it to here so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go fuse that to my back sew my strap and sew my pocket and I'll be right back um, I fuse my fusible fleece to this side and I sew my pocket so what I did I sewed them top and bottom left the sides open okay flip it inside out and iron it so it looks like that right um, then I also did my strap so I put right sides together and I sew about a quarter of an inch in and now I need to flip it okay I'm gonna trim these corners it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see it here you can even if you want if it's easier for you to flip it you can even cut this open you know the seam that you have here because this is gonna be a touch inside so you're not really gonna see it right so it doesn't really matter if it's open or closed it just sometimes if you have a turning tool I do have a turning tool that I normally use and in my case if it's open it's easier because what I do is I put my tube in then I use this in here I turn and it pushes my fabric and I push it in right and then I flip it but if you don't have one of these if you don't have a turning tool you can use just a safety pin and like I said this seam here doesn't really matter I can cut it open because I don't really need it closed so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna put my safety pin there and then I'm gonna go through this side push it between the two layers just in case I'm sure you've done that before and now like that you can use that safety pin to flip it I know everybody sometimes tools not everybody has all these tools because tools can become expensive so but you can do it this way see and it goes quite easy all right so then you sew a, a, your top stitch here and here okay so don't forget to iron it and top stitch this side and this side okay so we're going to put this to the side here we're going to be doing that in a bit so now you're going to have to uh, attach your pocket so to make sure you're right in the middle I normally I fold this in the middle I crease it a little bit and I know my middle is here so I'm gonna go here and crease it too okay well I guess they increase very well because it has the fusible but just to you can tell more or less what the middle is okay I go like that now I can tell my middle is right here can do a line but it's probably don't really need it so now I have my middle here I'm gonna put that middle to the top of there and I'm gonna leave just the seam allowance so if I'm using I would say half an inch down you're gonna put your pocket there and because you have that crease there and creased here if you match those this should be just right on like that see and there so you're gonna put a couple pins and you're gonna take to the sewing machine and you're just gonna secure this in place here and here all right so don't forget secure it here and here after you've done that okay you're gonna get your lining the inside 
you're gonna put the right sides together okay even it out and you're gonna be sewing here okay so remember if you have a deep cut like this what I normally like to do because sometimes we sew and we get here we don't know exactly when to change it this way if you go here where you have your little tip and you do a little line down like that this is just a pencil this comes off anyway so when you sew and when you get here as soon as you hit that line you know you twist you turn to this side but remember you're just sewing the sides this part here and this side here I think I had mentioned this before in other videos. If you're sewing with fusible fleece, if one side has fusible fleece, sew on top of the fusible fleece because you'll have your fabric is not going to stretch. If you're sewing on this one, what's happening, the bottom of your machine has teeth, so it's going to be pulling your fabric like this. But the top of your uh, foot in your sewing machine, it's flat. Let me just grab one and show you. So your foot, it's flat, right? So when you're sewing, what's happening is if you're sewing on the fabric side, this is thin. This one is stabilized, so the, the teeth are pulling it. It's pushing it like this, so it's keeping it even. And the top, because it doesn't have teeth, it's just going to be putting pressure, and it's going to be pulling like this. So when you see, if you already see, look, your fabric is already going like this. See, this is what's going to happen. And sometimes when you sew things that you have a fusible side on the top fabric, that's when you notice you get to the end and you have extra fabric. That's the reason. That's what's happening. All right? So I suggest you always sew on the fusible side. Then what's happening, this part here, when the foot goes on the fusible, it's not going to stretch because it's stable already. Because the fusible fleece is going to work as a stabilizer for your fabric. All right? So again so you're gonna turn this to the side and sew on that side versus on the fabric side so i'm gonna be doing my marking here on this side on my fusible and this is where i'm gonna be sewing it on the fusible side and i'm gonna do about a half an inch seam allowance here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and um, i'm gonna sew these and iron this do my top stitch and i'll be right back so i'm back I did my top stitch in both sides of my strap and I sew this part here. I also attach my pocket. I secure it here and here and I forgot to mention you got to sew a seam here in the bottom because it's going to be a pocket so it needs to be sewed in the bottom. All right so I did all of those so now we have this here and you can trim the fusible fleece if you can around your seam allowance so it ends up less bulk uh, but you don't have to I trim some of mine and then here you know always when there's these tips we got to cut it down almost all the way to the seam but don't cut your seam you got to open that so we have a better turn okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna flip this that would end up like that so I'm going to go ahead, go like this, and I'm going to fold this in half. So I'm going to bring this part here to the pocket. I'm going to match my pockets here on the side so they end up even around. Okay, let me get a pin cushion. I seem to always be missing something here today. All right. Let's put this away here so it's out of the way. I have pin cushion. So. So I'm going to go here, match my pocket, make sure they're together, and I'm going to pin it. And bottom here, match my pocket, pin it. Okay, then I'm going to go here. If you can, try to open your seams here. You know, this seam here, if you want to take to the iron and open it, it, it turns out nicer if you actually open your seam, right, in both sides, right? Probably will do that before I sew it. And also this side, try to open your seam. 
if you can if you can't if you don't want to do it that's fine too it will be just fine it's not going to be a huge deal but it does turn out a lot better if you actually open your seam then you go here where you have your seam here you match your seam here also eliminates the bulk here in the tips and you're also going to put a pin there matching them up so I'm going to put let me see if I can show you put it here in the middle of my seam so if I open my seam and I open my seam here and match them together and I'll put a, a pin there okay so we're pinning this side here and then we're gonna pin this side here also right doesn't matter how you pin it do it the way you feel more comfortable it's not a big deal so what do you want you, what I want you to do this is what you're gonna do you're gonna sew here and here the bottoms here and here stays open Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So I'm back and as you see we put those together like that, match that and I open my seam here and on this side as you see and then we sew from there all the way up. Normally we need to leave an opening somewhere to flip this inside out and normally the, and I will be leaving the the seam to flip here right uh, in this case I sew all the way but I will pick a couple stitches later on because I need to figure out my corner sometimes I do this first so at least I have the, that part there but I will be um, picking a couple stitches here to flip this inside out um, now we have to deal with with the bottom so you have this on this shape that's your lining that's your main now what I want you to do we're gonna mark the middle here so I go here I'm gonna trim just a little clip so I know where my middle is and also this side I'm going to do the same thing just a tiny little bit so I know where my middle is okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that little middle that we marked to the seam okay let me trim this off and we're going to put some pins here okay Right, I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. So my seam that I have here, you also can open the seam if you'd like. You don't have to, but you can. To there, I'm gonna match them here to the little clip that we cut. Put it in there and there. Okay, and your next step we'll be sewing here and here okay so this ends up like if I open this ends up like this okay All right so we're gonna be sewing there and there okay I'm gonna go ahead and sew that so I'm back and now we need to cut our corners to make the bottom of the bag like that right to make the the bottom here we need to do our corners so I do mine one and a half so I put one and a half from my seam allowance let me bring this closer so this is my seam so from here up I'm gonna measure one and a half and from this border in one and a half because I don't have a seam there so one and a half and one and a half and I'm gonna draw a line okay so you're gonna do that there there and also your lining same thing here and here okay your four corners I normally to speed things up I just go here and cut mine And I use this one I put it on top it's better if you draw because maybe end up more precise 
I like cheating a little bit. So just going to go here. And always try to use the same one as your measurement. Don't grab now another one because if you cut that one no crooked, that means the other ones will be. So do always the first one that you, you cut out. All right. After you have these cut, you need to sew them. Again, when this is like this, sometimes we have a hard time turning it to the other side because when we open it, it seems that sometimes they don't match. If you want, you can always clip a little bit. Then you know that little clip goes in your seam. Okay? So you know now you're correct. Right? It's just an easier way of doing it. Okay, after that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And um, so I saw my corner there, there, and those and those. Just trim any threads that you have around so it doesn't look messy. Right, and as I mentioned, I'm actually going to pick a couple stitches to flip this inside out. So, uh, normally you can mark it in the beginning before you sew the side. You can mark an opening and leave it and do your sewing out because it ends up closing a little bit better. But um, sometimes I don't mind doing it this way either because it's going to stay right on the bottom and it's just for uh, it's just for a bottle. It's not a huge deal. So I'm just going to pick a couple stitches here uh, and flip it inside out. Also, because I already have that, those little holes from the needle, that sometimes if I want to sew it by hand, if I want to actually do a, a seam by hand that I don't want to see actually the seam, I can use those little holes already as a guide. All right. There's odd times too that sometimes I actually will go and already iron this like this when it's sewed in and then when I also turn it's already there like that okay it's different ideas different ways everybody has to find their own way that's easier for them and just go with it okay I'm also going to trim this top here a little bit this top corner okay I'm going to go here I'm going to trim it just make sure you don't trim your seam okay so now I have a little hole here. Again, like I said, try to go to the the farthest piece away from you, from the bag, and then you're gonna bring that one out first. So it flips pretty easy. Just don't pull too hard because in this case the our seam is not secure because I just picked a couple stitches. So if you need to fix anything secure now, before you close this. So now it's entirely up to you. You can sew this by machine, this little opening, or you can sew this by hand. Okay, you choose how you want to do it. All right, I'm not going to do it right now so I don't take too much time out of the video because that can be done any time. It's not going to interfere with the rest. So I'm just going to put it in for now and show you how it's coming along. So this is what you're going to end up with. See that? Okay, that's for your bottle. So if you flip, it turns out like this. Okay, I think you can see pretty well how it is. Um, you're going to iron it this neatly and we're going to do a top stitch so i'm actually going to take this to the sewing machine quickly i'm going to iron it close my inside and uh, and do my top stitch here around and i'll be right back to show you the finishing all right so i'm back i closed my inside and i did my top stitch just going to trim these little threads that i have here 
all right so now we're going to do the straps okay so you're going to get the strap it's on one strap you're going to put this here in the middle because this middle and this middle should match you're going to fix this up and you're going to get your strap and you're going to go here and you're going to push it down just enough i think we've done this in another bag this type of strap and you're going to bring this here see See the tip just past a little bit of the tip of the strap here. It's going to go slightly down, pass it a little bit, and we're going to pin it. And what I want you to do is sew on top of this sewing line already that's here. I'm going to do the same to this side, just passing it. And I normally for straps I do a double seam because you're going to put a, a wine bottle in here, you don't want it to fall, so you really want to secure this well here. So, and you're going to be sewing there and there. Alright, uh, after you've done that, we're going to turn this to the back like that, going to fold it like this, you see that? And you're going to match that here, and I would say about an inch up from the tip from the strap, see? about one inch up okay you're gonna put a pin there and you're gonna sew see I match my sides I'm gonna bring this strap match my folded sides from the back there I went about one seam up put a pin there and then I'm gonna sew from the pin up right on top of the seam that I already have I would say about another inch up all right just to, to make this like this all right so so about one inch I'm gonna put another pin here doesn't have to be exact you can always go back if you think you didn't sew enough so you I'm gonna be sewing just this little piece in here okay on the this folded part okay so I'm gonna go ahead attach my straps first and then do that okay so I'm back we're gonna Trim any wanted threads that you have around. And so you see I sew my strap here, secured it really well, and in here. And then about one inch up from here, I sew a little bit up. I think I went a little too high, more than one inch. Just going to take one or two stitches up. You can always take it to the machine and secure it again if that's the case. So I have about one inch that I sew here in the back. See? That's my inch that I sew and I did a double stitch. So now you go here and you fold this in like that. So I'm just going to grab a bottle so you see. So when you put the bottle in, okay. This little hat comes down. Then I'm gonna flip that, and I think on this case, because this has a lot of Christmas trees, I'm gonna, let's see, see? That's the little hat. And then if you see the side, it looks like that. Okay, and the handle, and that's the front. Okay, so I normally push this down, go here, this little pin here and on this case I'm gonna put a little Christmas tree right here because all the Christmas trees are here I think it will look kind of cute all right if you want you can turn this into a little animal if you add little beads could be little eyes see I'm just gonna use the pin to show you I think it looks kind of interesting too you could add something like that and leave it down but I like to make it as a little hat so mine I'm gonna flip it again and sew my button here Oop. so I'm just gonna touch it right now with a pin so you know you have to sew this button in I'm gonna touch the little tree like that and there's your bag uh, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you do, uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos every Saturday. Um, we try to come with something a little different. Hopefully uh, you guys can join us here every Saturday for new projects. Happy sewing everyone!